At 2.46 p.m., what has become known as the Great Earthquake hit Japan, followed by a devastating tsunami. Gotu-san, a member of the engine delivery team, had just hung up the phone in IHI Soma. Gotu-san would not be able to speak with the Soma office again for two weeks. Immediately, I tried to call to Aisha Soma, but uh, the line was uh, disrupted. It was back in March of 2012 when we all heard about the earthquake that hit Japan. To me, it was devastating because working at IAE, we have Japanese employees all around us. So it did impact home. And you knew that it impacted the friends and families of people you work with. We had learned from talking with Gotu-san that there was damage uh, inside the facility at, at IHI Soma. As you can imagine, file cabinets were uh, knocked over. The equipment had moved from its original footprint. The machines had to be recalibrated. It was, it was quite, a, quite a mess inside the building. And then once the nuclear situation started to evolve, we were, uh, that was one of our major concerns. Immediately, uh, I set up the uh, radiation inspection to all of the component parts and the products and facilities, tools, and uh, we found uh, uh, there were no contamination by radiation, so we are very relieved. JAC had very limited resources. I mean, if, if you kind of think about it, limited resources when it comes to water, I mean, power, very limited infrastructure availability. When you look at the bigger picture, you know, we start thinking about how does that translate to our fan case module deliveries. JX supplies the major, the fan case module, which is the initial start of the build. The IHI Soma plant, they manufacture the critical parts that are utilized to build the fan case module over at the Mizuho plant. It's the little, the little detailed parts that we were more concerned about um, to finish the sub-assemblies. We learned over time that 75 part numbers were delivered out of IHI Soma. We had to, to understand quickly where those parts were, how much inventory was available, and how, how much coverage we had. We worked with the engine centers where we prevented actually total work stops. I took a two-step approach. One was to work with our JAC colleagues on a, a, an aggressive recovery plan, and the other one was to set up a, what we call a pusher engine contingency plan. We were able to, through uh, our contacts with uh, IE Engineering, get all the drawings for all the parts that were produced at IHI Soma. We built a tool, an Excel uh, file that we used to establish priority, and uh, we, we handed that tool over to Gotusan, who embraced it. By the exchanging the such uh, information now, we could find out uh, what is the critical parts and how is the status. We started at 9 p.m. A call, a 9 p.m. U.S. time call, which was uh, 10 a.m. the following day in Japan, to status, you know, all, all the parts and, and um, status of the fan case deliveries. If I had to do it all over again, I think I would definitely uh, t take the same approach and implement the same plans that we did. I think it was, it was the results were phenomenal. As it turned out, IHI Soma was up and running within a month, which was remarkable. When I have 100% on-time delivery to Airbus, we, we were able to actually take what we learned, lessons learned from this event, and apply them within our industrial process currently today. And we were able to maintain a green scorecard with Airbus uh, throughout the year. But more imperatively, I think, is not only did we achieve um, the Airbus commitments, but we exceeded their expectations. And not one aircraft delivery um, was late to an airline customer. It's really amazing about uh, IHS Soma's uh uh, dedicated to hard working or uh, very high space to the re uh, quick recovery. But uh, I appreciate uh, uh, not only SOMA people, but also all of the related people. Uh, of course, uh, IE or uh, MHI or KHI or Rose, but any other partner companies uh, uh, continuously help uh, really gave us uh, great energy to the quick recovery. Kenshin in Japanese. Translated from Japanese to English, these symbols mean dedication and duty. They exemplify the spirit of the Japanese people and the spirit of this team. 
IAE is proud to recognize the members of the engine delivery team for their outstanding accomplishment during the earthquake and tsunami in Japan by achieving 100% on-time delivery while facing an historic supply chain challenge. They are the recipient of the IAE Leadership Award, presented annually in recognition of the most outstanding team contribution to IAE.